I want to show you another way you can brow map. Um, this is called a sticky ruler and you actually take it off like a sticker and put it on the client's forehead. So I'm going to show you on a mannequin and I'm going to be using a sticky ruler, the Boss Brows brow mapping string, a caliper, and China marker number 77. All right, now if I were working on a client, I would have alcohol wipes and Q-tips and precise Q-tips, but I already know that this doesn't come off that well on the mannequin head, so just bear with me. Okay, the first thing that you always wanna do is you wanna split the face in half. We wanna try to improve the symmetry as much as possible. So what I like to do is I like to start at the top of the hairline up here and split the entire face in half, going through the nose and bringing it all the way down to the chin. So you'll create those lines. Most of the time, um, the face curves, so you'll have to readjust and tighten up the string so that you don't have too much slack. So tighten up your string and create that center line. This would be point zero. Once you have point zero, you can take the sticky ruler. Now this is a little harder to do with gloves on, so bear with me. Now you'll see on the sticky ruler, there's a point zero right there. What you wanna do is you wanna line up the point zero on the sticky ruler with the point zero that you created. You wanna put the sticky ruler even to their eyes. So you don't want it crooked. You don't want um, one side too high and, or one side too low. You wanna keep it parallel to their eyes and their bone structure. The thing that's a little difficult with the um, sticky ruler is if you lay it down wrong, it could mess up all of your measurements. So really make sure that you're putting it on right and that the point zero is right down the center of their face. And now from here, you would just measure and find all of your vertical lines like you normally would. So the first one I'm going to find is my point A, okay? And as you see, there's an A, there's a B and there's a C. That's not necessarily saying that's where you need to put it. It's a suggestion. So each face is going to be unique. You could measure using the caliper, just like how we uh, learned earlier in some of the other videos. So with this, you would go from either the top of the nostril. So take the caliper and measure from the top of the nostril. And you want to make sure to include the entire eye. Don't just go to here, okay? You want to um, actually include the entire eye. And because I know I'm going to be making a line on the inside, that's gonna take up some space. So I usually like to bring it over just a tad bit. All right, so for this, now I have my point A. And actually it falls directly on that dotted point A line, which is kind of cool. Now the idea of the sticky ruler is that whatever you do to one side, you'll do to the other. So if on this side, that point A was right there where the dotted line is, that means that it should be the same on this side. I like to double check everything. So I, again, I'm gonna measure from the top of the nostril and include the entire eye. And you wanna also make sure to get your pencil directly next to that bar. Right here, they line up. We're on the dotted line and the dotted line. You can also use the string and instead of the ruler, and you can make your lines that way. So if I were going to find my point B, I would want to measure from the outside of that iris and the inside of the actual eye. So usually right about here, you can also measure this way from the outside of the nostril and you either would go through the pupil or to the outside of the iris. 
Now I'm gonna say on this mannequin head, it would look a little silly if I went to the outside of the iris. It would just be way too far out. So this is where you kinda need to use your artistic um, eye. So you can go right there. Um, I actually prefer to do it this way vertically because I feel like it's a little easier to measure and make sure that the distance between my point A and B are the same on both sides. So I'm gonna um, go like this. So you see they kind of meet right there. If you measure the distance between your point A and your point B with that slanted line, look what happens. If I measure up here, that's how big the, the distance is. But if I measure down here, then that's how big the distance is. It's a big difference. If you're doing a vertical line, you can actually measure it much easier. But because we're using the sticky tape, we really don't even have to measure. However, I do like to double, triple check everything. So in this case, my line is right here. So not on the five, but on the line right before the five, okay? That means I'm going to make my line right here. Just like with anything, when you're brow mapping, it really comes down to how it looks. There's been a lot of times where I follow all the rules and when I'm all done, the arch looks way too close or maybe the arch looks way too far out. So I'll need to adjust it. So don't be scared to break the rules. Just remember that whatever you do to one side, make sure you do the same to the other side because we want to create a sense of symmetry here. So now I'm going to find my point C. Let's say we're using our string. So see how that line is right at this line here. So I would need to do the same thing on the other side. The cool thing about this is right here, I created a slanted line. I can actually use that ruler and make a vertical line, as long as it doesn't go too far out. So as long as it doesn't reach that temple, you're good. All right, I'm gonna darken my lines. The full sticky ruler brow mapping video is featured in Boss Brows online training. I will post the link to the online training below in the description along with all of the products I used in this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks!